Hi, I'm Saddam Hussein here. Welcome back to CBSC Board Economics. Today, we're continuing with balance of payments. We have already seen the demand for foreign exchange and supply of foreign exchange. Now we go to another important topic. Balance of payment is the name of the unit. Under this, how is foreign exchange rate determined? Who determines the foreign exchange rate? There are three methods of foreign exchange rate. How is it determined? The first one is floating exchange rate. We call it also as flexible exchange rate. The second one you have fixed exchange rate. And the last one you have is called as managed floating. And sometimes we call it as dirty floating. So there are three methods of determining foreign exchange rate. One is flexible foreign exchange rate. And the next uh, we call this also free uh, flexible or floating foreign exchange rate. Number two is fixed foreign exchange rate. And number three is managed floating. According to your CBSE syllabus this year, the first has been deleted from your syllabus, flexible exchange rate or floating exchange rate. But for understanding how is it determined, this is very important, we will be explaining it, have a brief idea about it. So I'll discuss this floating exchange rate, flexible exchange rate at the end. Now straight away, let's go to the fixed exchange rate. What exactly is a fixed exchange rate? Remember in points, it's simple to learn. Under fixed exchange rate, I'll give you an idea about floating exchange rate or flexible exchange rate. Uh, this is of course there, prevalent in all the economies in the world. How is foreign exchange rate determined? So sometimes you must have seen in the newspaper, the dollar price fluctuates. Sometimes it goes up, sometimes comes down, goes up, comes down. There are a lot of fluctuations taking place in the foreign exchange rate. Who determines it? So in the modern economies, the foreign exchange rate is automatically determined in the market by the forces of demand for foreign exchange and supply of foreign exchange. If the demand for foreign exchange goes up, obviously the foreign exchange rate will also go up. If the demand comes down, no one wants dollars, no one wants foreign exchange rate. So obviously the foreign exchange rate comes down. So we discuss that. That is called flexible or floating exchange rate. In this exchange rate, the foreign exchange rate is automatically determined in the market by the forces of demand for foreign exchange and supply of foreign exchange. If there is too much supply of foreign exchange in the economy, obviously too much supply, excess supply of foreign exchange, the foreign exchange rate comes down. If there is shortage of foreign exchange, obviously the foreign exchange rate goes up. So keep that in mind, the foreign exchange rate and the floating exchange rate or flexible exchange rate is automatically determined in the market by the force of demand and supply. Where the demand and supply intersect each other, there the foreign exchange rate is automatically determined. That of course, I'll show you with the help of a graph, which is not in the syllabus right now. The foreign exchange rate is automatically determined in the market by the forces of demand and supply. Where the demand and supply meet, or where the demand and supply of foreign exchange rate curves intersect each other, there the foreign exchange rate is determined. That is why it is called flexible, because it keeps on fluctuating, or free exchange or floating exchange rate. The second one you have fixed exchange rate. Remember two, three points. Under the fixed exchange, foreign exchange rate, under the fixed, the title says fixed exchange rate, the foreign exchange rate is not determined in the market by the forces of demand for foreign exchange and supply of foreign exchange. It is not determined in the market by the force of demand for foreign exchange and supply of foreign exchange. Then how is it determined? It is determined or fixed by the central bank. In India, we have RBI, Reserve Bank of India, or the government. 
so mostly it is determined by the central bank rbi that's why it's called fixed exchange rate the first point to remember under the fixed exchange rate the foreign exchange rate is not determined in the market but the force of demand and supply of foreign exchange the second point is it is fixed by the central bank or the monetary authority in india we have rbi reserve bank of india and number three third point to remember it does not fluctuate it won't go up and down because of the changes in demand and supply of foreign exchange it does not fluctuate it's fixed today the dollar price is equal to one dollar is equal to 60 rupees even after two months or six months or a couple of years the dollar price will remain the same and the last point to remember here only the government can interfere on that only the uh, central authority can change it that's why it's called fixed exchange rate and just remember one or two merits and demerits of this though this is not in the syllabus get an idea and the f the most important merit of fixed exchange rate is there are no speculations people won't keep on buying and selling foreign exchange no speculations and since the foreign exchange rate is fixed always more foreign exchange will come inside the country more trading will take place because the foreigners are not scared to invest in our country and whatever investments they made in the country they don't try to take it back so the investments remain intact inside the economy that's the biggest merit of this no speculation takes place so no one is scared of the for of the fluctuations in the foreign exchange market what is the biggest drawback of this method it does not apply to the principle of free enterprise economies because the central bank is fixing the foreign exchange rate it's not the principle of free enterprise economy or maybe the second demerit is the fixed exchange rate fixed by the central bank or the monetary authority may be too high or may be too low may be too high may be too low i repeat once again what is fixed foreign exchange rate under the fixed foreign exchange rate the foreign exchange rate is not determined in the market by the forces of demand and supply it's not determined first point second point the central bank or the monetary authority in india rbi determines the fixed exchange rate third point it does not fluctuate it remains constant because of the changes in demand and supply the fourth point only the government or the central bank can intervene on that to change it and merit is the biggest merit of this is since the fixed exchange rate is fixed so more foreign investments will come inside the country whatever the investments they made in the country they don't try to take away it does not lead to any speculation the biggest demerit of this method is maybe the the foreign exchange rate fixed by the government or the monetary authority or the central bank or the rbi is either too high or too low that's about the fixed exchange rate and the last one you have managed floating we call it also as dirty floating this also we have these days so what is managed floating managed floating is a mixture of these two exchange rate it's a hybrid hybrid of floating exchange rate of flexible exchange rate and fixed exchange rate it's a hybrid and the managed floating exchange rate now we'll discuss the first point to remember this is this rate is automatically determined in the market by the forces of demand for foreign exchange and supply of foreign exchange first point number 3 unlike the fixed exchange rate number second point in this fixed exchange rate though the foreign exchange rate is determined in the market by force of demand and supply but sometimes the central bank or the monetary authority or the government can intervene on it that's why it's called managed floating though there is a floating here the exchange rate keeps on fluctuating in the market but the government can interfere on this when does the government interfere on this so if the fixed exchange rate is going up if the exchange rate is really going up 1 dollar is becoming 100 200 300 rupees then the government can interfere on that how does the government interfere the government or the central bank put more foreign exchange in the market as a result the supply of foreign exchange will go up and as a result the exchange rate will come down that means managed floating 
If the foreign exchange rate is really coming down, maybe one dollar becomes 50 rupees, 40, 30, 10 rupees. So again, the government or central monetary authority can intervene on it. That means they start buying the dollars in the market, the market price or the foreign exchange rate will go up. That's why it's called managed floating manage floating because it's a hybrid of both it's a mixture of both i repeat once again what is managed floating or dirty floating under the managed floating exchange rate the foreign exchange rate is automatically determined in the market by the force of demand for foreign exchange and supply of foreign exchange like floating exchange or flexible exchange rate first point remember it's exactly but even though the rate exchange rate is determined in the market, the central bank has the power to intervene on it. Second point, that's why it's called managed floating. How does the central bank intervene? I told you the foreign exchange is exorbitantly going up. Then the central bank will put more foreign exchange inside the market to reduce its uh, foreign exchange rate. If the foreign exchange, next point, last point, is really coming down, the central bank starts buying the foreign exchange in the market to increase its foreign exchange rate some more. So that means there are three exchange rate, floating exchange rate, fixed and managed floating. Now I'll, I'll teach you this uh, flexible, though floating exchange rate or flexible exchange rate, how is it determined? So we help, we, we, we do it with the help of a graph in this case, uh, how is it determined? We'll make a simple graph which you already got it. This x axis and here, you have y axis so, so in on this so we take foreign exchange rate that is we can see it rupees in terms of dollars here demand dd i'm writing and supply of foreign exchange so we already learned this is the demand curve for foreign exchange this is the demand for foreign exchange we write it here and this is supply of foreign exchange we write it here and this is the foreign exchange rate both these curves intersect each other at point t that's called equilibrium point at this point the foreign exchange rate is determined as op so this is known as flexible exchange rate or floating exchange rate. I repeat once again, under the flexible or floating exchange rate, the foreign exchange rate is automatically determined in the market by the force of demand and supply of foreign exchange. We already know the demand curve is sloping downwards. We already know the supply curve is rising upwards. So both these curves intersect each other at point E, that's called equilibrium point. At this point, the foreign exchange rate is determined as OP and the demand supply of foreign exchange is OQ. So what we discuss now, there are three methods of foreign exchange rates. How is it mean? Number one is floating exchange rate or flexible exchange rate or free exchange rate. In this foreign exchange rate is automatically determined by the force of demand supply. So where the demand supply curve intersect each other, there's no government interference here. Sometimes the foreign exchange rate will go up and come down. A lot of fluctuations take place. The biggest merit of this method is uh, free enterprise economy, it shows. There's no interference of the government. Biggest demerit is if the floating, if the exchange rate is fluctuating too much, then people lose faith and more, more I mean imports and imports and exports will suffer. Foreign, if, the, if, the, if there are a lot of fluctuations, uh, there won't be any foreign investments inside the country. So under the fixed exchange rate, the second one, the exchange rate is not fixed in the market by the force of demand and supply, it's fixed by the central bank. And f f under the managed floating, it is determined by the force of demand and supply, but this central bank can intervene on it. So to put it in three sentences, under flexible floating exchange rate the exchange rate is determined by the force of demand supply fixed exchange rate the exchange rate is determined by the central bank under the managed floating the exchange rate is determined in the market by the force of demand supply but the central bank can intervene on this so that's all we have time please follow this and uh, for the notes you see the description box so where i have given clearly the simple notes follow it that's all we have time for today so till we meet next time so goodbye from saddam hussein best of luck for exams don't forget to share subscribe bye bye